Anticipation builds as the MiG-41, a groundbreaking aircraft possessing truly space capabilities, is set to make its maiden flight this year. The Russian media outlet Overcloser recently reported that this superior machine is on the brink of being commissioned and is expected to join the ranks of the Russian Air Force within the next two to three years. As per the insights from Russian journalists, the MiG-41 stands unparalleled in its class. Overcloser suggests that the time is right for the MiG-41 to step into the limelight and replace the venerable yet still potent MiG-31. The MiG-31, despite its age, has an impressive track record. It can target objects even in near space, intercept ballistic and cruise missiles, and the MiG-31K variant houses the first hypersonic air-launched missile. Despite the exceptional performance of the MiG-31, the need for a new long-range interceptor was recognized long ago. The first attempt at extensive modernization was the MiG-31M, which surfaced in 1993. However, it never made it into production due to financial difficulties, but in reality, it was the pressure from American partners, who were hesitant about Russia gaining more strength. The current MiG-31s are undergoing an upgrade to the MiG-31BM. The upgrade featuring new radar and electronic enhancements, new missiles, and weapons control systems. However, the Foxhounds will face mass decommissioning. The reason? The exhaustion of their production resource in the coming decade. This circumstance led to the inception of the POC-DP program which has been developed under the most stringent secrecy. In 2019, the research phase was completed, and by 2021, a prototype was developed, initially slated to fly in 2025 and enter mass production in 2028. Surprisingly, the designers are two years ahead of schedule, an indication of their relentless commitment. While the technical specifications of this new development remain undisclosed, it is speculated that the MiG-41 will be capable of matching the speed of supersonic high-altitude reconnaissance aircraft. This distinctive feature is also being incorporated into the American and Chinese counterparts of this aircraft type. Russian reports suggest that the MiG-41 will operate in near-space conditions, achieving speeds exceeding Mach 3. The aircraft is said to be capable of launching satellites into low orbits, intercepting hypersonic missiles, and performing various other feats. These bold assertions have led the US to dub the MiG-41 a fantasy. While it's premature to definitively categorize the MiG-41 as either a figment of imagination or a bluff, there seems to be significant progress within the Russian POC-DP project. The aircraft's developers assert that the MiG-41 will achieve speeds ranging from Mach 4 to 4.5, nearing hypersonic speeds. The notion of launching satellites is not particularly groundbreaking, However, the designers have begun to openly discuss the aircraft's capability to house anti-satellite missiles. The MiG-41 is classified as belonging to the 5++ and potentially even the 6th generation of aircraft. Its avionics are not solely designed for manned flights. Given the lack of necessity for a human to endure overloads of up to 9 grams, provision has been made for unmanned operation.
By the sixth generation, aircraft will have to have ultimate stealth thanks to improved stealth technology, networking capabilities with high integration with other aircraft and ground forces, flight efficiency at any speed, the possibility of unmanned mode, increased range of detection and tracking of multiple targets, laser weapons. While the specifics around the onboard capabilities of the MiG-41 remain somewhat obscured, reassurances from the Russian design team indicate that other key performance characteristics are in place. Notably, they were also given the significant challenge of ensuring the aircraft's super maneuverability. The apparent paradox of achieving near hypersonic speeds while maintaining effective stealth technology remains an intriguing enigma. It is well documented that upon reaching speeds of 3000 km per hour, conventional stealth coatings tend to deteriorate rapidly, making the aircraft highly visible on radar. The subsequent repairs to restore stealth capabilities are predictably costly. This leaves one wondering how the design team was able to address this seemingly intractable issue. The MiG-41. There is not very much known because it is, just like all top modern military projects, very secret. But we do know that there is a program going on as the deputy Alexander Tarnayev at the Russian State Duma Defense Committee said this during an interview at the Cultural Center of the Russian Armed Forces. The corresponding decision was taken by the chief of the general staff. He has already signed the document to carry out research work on the MiG-41 project. <laughs>